one. I'm gonna be honest with y'all people. I am getting sick and tired of neglecting Illusion of Gaia. I have been intending to upload a video, but I every time I do, I quickly fail. I know what I'm doing wrong, but I don't know how to fix it. I am going to attempt to um beat this damn boss and probably fail. Yep, that's a definite fail. In fact, I am going to die. I am going to kill myself. Because I know that there is no way, after taking that massive hit, that I am going to be able to um, succeed in this boss. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not sure if I'm going to succeed in this particular video to begin with because I have been trying and epically failing. Just epically, epically failing. And I don't know how to, um... Damn it, I'm, go I'm going to have to kill myself again. I'm going to have to kill myself again. No, I do have the herbs. I will admit I replayed the entire game up to this point, which not honestly was, um... Not that long. This, um... I don't remember exactly how long this game is, but I'm, well... One, two, I have six herbs, the song. I have three of the mystic statues, so it's safe to assume. And I am at the uh, halfway point. I don't know if I am at the halfway point, but I'm going to assume that I am at the uh, halfway point. There. I don't know if I should have done that because I um want to um conserve my herbs. But I also want to beat this boss. And I want to beat this boss pretty much as soon as humanly possible. Okay, I defeat I defeated the female and I defeated her relatively quickly and I have plenty of herbs left over now. How do I defeat this guy? Because this guy is the one who gives me the most trouble. He honestly gives me he is the one who gives me the most trouble. I'm going to eat that herb. Probably don't need it, but why take a risk? After all, I am almost about to uh, succeed in something that I thought I would not even be able to succeed, especially considering how quickly this, this is what my um, third attempt, third or fourth attempt. I can do this! Oh my god! Holy hell, I can actually do this! What did I do? And how many herbs do I have left? Not as much as I would have liked. Not taking a risk! Not taking a risk! I am not taking a risk when I'm so close. Yes! I beat him! How do I defuse? Do I have to go back here to defuse a bomb? Um, red one. Okay, nothing's happening. There, I, I don't know if the music or the sound change because I tend to um, unless I'm doing something where volume is or sound is necessary to uh, 
like environmental necessity or to the game or whatever. I don't play these with my television sound on. I play it on mute. <clears throat> I don't think it causes echo in the recording, but I don't want to take the risk. Anyways, I finally beat that, and I beat it significantly quicker than I thought. I honestly thought this was going to be like a five. 10 minute video of me failing because I ran out of herbs. What do I do now? Once again, Will has saved me. Do I leave? Well, I'm no longer able to move and these guys are coming up, so yeah, I guess I have to leave. Anyways, finally! Not a fail video like I originally thought. Always going to be now. I did not, um, I won't say I succeeded after all. I went through about five herbs and I almost did die if I didn't eat that one herb I would have. But you know what? I did it. I have an herb to spare. This game is probably going to get significantly harder. The next boss is probably going to be significantly worse. I don't even remember what the next boss is. It's been ages since I've played this game and I only played it through the uh, one time as I said I'm just not, I'm not a fan of um well, I shouldn't say that I'm a fan of linear linear action adventure RPGs like this particular one where there's no real overworld or grand sense of exploring and the like, it's linear. Linear can be a good thing, it's just not everything has to be non-linear. I don't like most... I don't like a lot of non-linear games when it's a uh, style that doesn't need to be non-linear. Like RPGs... Western RPGs anyways, yeah. I can understand those being non-linear, but the story, the uh, plus, the progression is linear. Japanese role-playing games, those are actually quite linear despite them having a non-linear feel. And um, these kind of games, like Zelda, Those games are linear, despite some feeling not non-linear. You can, like, do it the way you want, but there's a progression that you're expected to follow, and that's generally why I don't like them. It's, uh, it forces, tries to force linearity in a non-linear environment, and I don't like that. I like not I like linear games. I like um you know not necessarily guiding my hand but knowing where it is I'm supposed to go. Not everything has to be over and roll, not everything has to be non-linear. And you know, it's one of the reasons why well, I shouldn't say it's one of the reasons why I don't like most 3D platformers and why I'm hesitant to pick up a Switch considering the uh, major game for the uh, Switch is um, Super Mario Odyssey. I didn't like Nintendo, I didn't like Super Mario 64. I didn't like, oh well, Banjo Kazooie I, I hated mainly because of the, uh, for lack of a better term, voice acting. But I don't like, um, I don't like collecting games in platformers, just whether 2D or 3D. 
I don't like having to force to explore and collect items in a video game where generally all it's supposed to be is like a platformer. Move from left to right, go to the goal. That's pretty much all I need in a platformer. Move from one location to the other, reach the goal, defeat the stage boss or the mid boss or the level boss or whatever, and progress that way. I don't like I didn't like it when platformers went from 2D to 3D and they decided that everything had to be progressing through collecting. You collect stars, you collect coins, you collect whatever. And that's how you progress through the game. That's not what I like. I think it cheaply lengthens the game. And I think it's unnecessary. You can make a... A game doesn't have to be long for it to be a full-priced game. It has to have some meat to it, don't get me wrong, but um, artificially lengthening a game by forcing um, progression, progression through collection and then having and then having another um, hundred percent of game by collecting all the stars or shine sprites or notes or puzzle pieces or whatever. That's not fun to me. There's a difference between fun frustration and a chore and Super Mario 64, Banjo Kazooie. 3D platformers like that, in general, they're, it's, it's, they're fun for maybe the first four hours or so you play it, but then it gets into a um, frustrating, boring chore. I don't want to have collections. If you want to make it a bonus, by all means, make it a bonus. Don't force it to be a part of the progression. Make it an added bonus. So you don't have to do it. You want to do it. If I want to do it, I would gladly do it. If I have to do it, it's a chore. Even games where there's a minor amount of force collecting, like, um, well, the last couple of Super Mario games I played, um, Super Mario, Super Mario 3D Land had forced collection, you had to collect the, uh, gold coins to progress through the, um, stages occasionally. Um, New Super Mario Brothers 2 had that, I think. I don't even I'm I don't even think I have that game anymore. I might have sold it. I know I beat it. Well the main game anyways, I did, I by no means hundred percent it, but I did complete it, beat it. Um I think that had forced collection where you know you'd come up to it you would go through the game and you know, not if you weren't collecting the uh coins or whatever, you come up to a point where if you have to have this many coins suddenly to progress through the game and now you have to go back and go, okay, now I have to force myself to explore every little crevice, every little nook, every little cranny and find these damn coins. Should I use a guide? Should I not use a guide? I don't want to use a guide because that's cheating, but I also don't want to be forced to explore something when I don't want to do it. I just want to progress to the next level and beat the game like I want to and not have to be forced to collect all these damn things just to progress naturally. 
It's a chore. I don't find it fun. I find it a chore. Metroidvania games I find fun, despite it being somewhat of a chore, because, um, yeah, you have to do it, but it makes it so that you want to do it. Saying this, however, I don't think I've ever beaten a Metroidvania game in my life. And I'm saying Metroidvania, I don't know if it's Metroidvania with a V, or Metroidmania with an M. I don't know, it's a combination between Castlevania and Metroid, so I say Metroidvania. Um, the only Met well, I don't like the I do not like the original Metroid. In fact, I will go so far to say that I rather that I rather uh, hate the original 8-bit Metroid. Metroid 2, when I owned it when I was a kid for the Game Boy, probably one of my favorite. Game Boy games, and yet I was never able to complete it because I hadn't. I was unable to find the uh, Metroid. I got stuck. And Metroid 2: Return of Samus for the Game Boy is considered one of the more linear of the uh, Metroid titles. Now, you gotta understand, I owned a Sega Genesis, not a Super Nintendo growing up, but when I, um, again, not now, because I, I sold it when I sold my Super Nintendo. But I did own a cart of Super Metroid, and that game is highly entertaining. Did not complete it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Castlevania, not Ca um, Symphony of the Night. I did not own that growing up, but I uh, have access to it now. Fun game. I just pretty much go around exploring and doing shit with no real sense of progression or purpose. Find it fun. Nowhere near completing it. Probably never will complete it in a, uh, in a real quick time. Well, probably take me forever if I ever do it at all. I have a couple other Metroidvania games, a few I got, uh, in fact, I think I downloaded one for uh, free off the uh, PlayStation Network. Um, what else? Even, um, Shantae. Now, I do not own all the Shantae games. I think, um, I think I own all the ones that you can get for the uh, 3DS, including the um, Game Boy Color one. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not exactly a fan of the Game Boy Color. In fact, I prefer the original black and white or green on green Game Boy. But I do own it, have played it, like it. Um, the Shantae games that I know I have for the 3DS, which are a few, I don't know if it's all, I think it is, but my 3DS has been neglected for a while. Um, own them, play them, find them entertaining. Have yet to complete them. Always get sidetracked, mean to go back and then, you know, get distracted and just kind of forget about it. I did pick up Metroid 2 Samus, or Metroid Samus Returns for the 3DS. But I also picked up Dragon Quest 7. Yeah, Dragon Quest 7 or 8, I see. Um, you know what? In fact, my 3DS is right here. Dragon Quest... Wow. That font is tiny on the cursor. There is no way I will be able to read that. 
Let's check the um Dragon Quest. Yeah, Dragon Quest 7. And that to me, you know. I'm a bigger drag I'm a Dragon Dragon Quest Dragon Warrior got fan than Metroid. I like Dragon. I like JRPGs more than any platforming Metroidvania game. But I've also never played the uh, 3D Metroid games. I had, um... The only Nintendo console I ever owned during its generation was the N64. Now, yeah, I own an NES and 3DS now, but it's a, uh... I didn't own it back when they were relevant to the, uh... Times. And, you know... Yeah, they're... It's not even a real Nintendo, Super Nintendo. It's a Retron Hyperkin 3. I am going to get a Retron Hyperkin 5 just simply because I know it allows you to use save states. I don't know how that works, but if I can use save states, well, for one, it means I can do the um, Super Mario Brothers game despite the uh, battery being dead. It means I can more comfortably do platformers and games like that. Games where there is no save feature in the card itself. I don't like using emulators because I like playing with a controller off my television. Now, I know the um, Retron 5 uses emulation, and that's why you can use save state, which it still needs a cart. I... How do I explain? I don't have anything against emulation. I just don't... I want to be able to record off my... off my, um, hard... my recording hardware that I have now. And using emulators... With my Hapog, that's just going to be a pain in the butt. And I just simply don't really want to do that right now. Where with something like a um, Retron Hyperkin 5, where, you know, I can record, I can use the emulation directly off the car, can use save states, I don't know how it works. I have been, um... I have heard that by using the Retron Hypergen 5, your battery save will be wiped. So in regards to playing Illusion of Gaia, not going to risk it. But after that, I get my Retron Hypergain 5 and somehow make room for it. The, um... Actually, you know what? Um... It's not going to be convenient because it's going to be on the bottom shelf, but I do have room for. One, at least one other console on my um, gaming shelf, possibly two. I hadn't, I was not reading this. Anyways. Yeah, I will be getting it, plus I'll be getting the um, bonus features to play the Master System and Game Gear games. But I don't know what I am going to be getting first because I want a Retron Hypergen 5 to be, um, so that I can feel comfortable playing my, um, rec my classic cards without needing to use to, um, play the entire game through in one sitting depending on the cart or 
you know, uh, be able to use save states. I want and will be getting a PS TV because I do want to be. There are Vita games, games only available digitally through the Vita, is that I want to do, and a PlayStation TV is a hell of a lot cheaper than a uh, Vita capture card. So I don't know which of those two I will be getting first. It'll probably make more sense for me to um get the Retro Network in 5 first. Because there are simply more games I want to do for the Retro Network in 5 and the games I want to do for the Vita are, you know, mostly Japanese role-playing games and, you know, those are quite the lengthy Project! And then, of course, I will be getting a uh, 3DS capture card. But the games I want to do for the 3DS are, um, you know, again, mostly Japanese role playing games, plus a few others. Okay, um... I have been recording for close to half an hour. Now, yeah, there's, um... Stuff I have to edit out in the beginning, so it's probably closer to, uh... 25 minutes, but most of that... Most of this recording is, um... Plot... I beat the vampire, yay. I want to go find a save point and end this recording. That is quite the um, weakness for an angel. Also, I will be honest with you, I have no idea what's going on in regards to plot. I haven't been reading this, I've been talking. I don't even know what this... Who these people are, or what this location is, other than I guess it's an angel village. Damn it. I did not want to, um... Okay, um... Glad I talked to this person. Strengths, Defense Force, Life Force, Strengths, Psych Power, Dark Power. I'll be honest with you, I, um... I know there's one jewel I missed, it's at the very beginning of the game because that you have to um get that fisherman to uh pretty much leave and you um kind of use his um fishing rod or whatever to pull up the red jewel. I was going to waste my time waiting for that fisherman to leave to Pick up the red jewel. I wasn't going to waste my time and have to edit it or waste my time and force you people to um watch it. It's just the jewel. As I said before, do I see um games like this and the um super and the um 3D platformers? I'm not one for searching and collecting every hidden item. Well, at least in this game it's not mandatory. So I don't mind doing it, but usually it's, you know, I am. Ooh! I found a hidden item! Yay! 
but I don't go and um, check every nook, cranny, pot, crevice, what have you, for the hidden items. Like that. I didn't even know there was a red jewel there, I just, you know, saw the, um, well, and thought maybe there was something there with a uh, plot significant in, you know. That is a rather obvious point to put a red jewel. But as I said, that was just, you know, kind of luck. Not quite fluke, but kind of luck. Okay, um. Sculptor, a thousand statues in your well, you know, I guess they're angels, so they have the, um, time. No. I, um... I don't want to go there. Because that's where the, um... Gameplay is. That's where I have to go and fight things, and I don't want to go and fight things, I want to save my game. Aha! Finally, after over half an hour, anyways, thanks for watching everybody, about damn time I get back to this project. Hey yourselves a good time, good day, good night, good evening, whatever, take care and bye.